Um, Tate you from NHK. Uh, I'm sorry, but the, the other day I stick my microphone to your face and I oh, yes. asked a question. Oh, it was you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, but this is my work. So, uh, the two questions for Japanese audience. But uh, you mentioned about the uh, w when you had a opening ceremony, you said second term of the Kyoto Protocol. So, um, do you do you think the second term should be called as a Kyoto Protocol or not? or even another name should be. And, and that the second question is, it seems like uh, the Japanese government and the rest of the country, they, they have changed within a couple months toward this uh, uh, conference or the climate change, uh, the policy. I'd like to know if there is any conversation or magic that you use or the, any dialogue between those countries and you. Uh, I think the way to, to say so is always to speak, speak about the second phase of Kyoto. Maybe try this. The, the, to, we speak about the second phase of Kyoto. This is the official way to describe it. Kyoto will not end up at, in 2012. The first phase will. But what will be the second phase? Will we learn from the first phase to improve the way we work? I don't think Kyoto is a Bible. Uh, I think my colleague from Russia had a point. Uh, is there ways to encourage countries to take commitments when they are voluntary? Co uh, when they voluntarily take a commitment, it seems a bit complex today. Is there a way to simplify it? I think it's a legitimate question that he was asking for, but the point was it was not a good moment and he didn't have the, the legalities uh, about that and so on. Uh, so, yes, uh, Kyoto needed, will need to be improved. Uh, and. The other point is the, the countries that have a, a Kyoto target, uh, demanding Kyoto target, represent today 35% of the emissions. In 2012, it will be 25%. It's a bit difficult to mobilize your population when three quarter, <coughs> of, the, three quarter of the emissions are outside the, the system you are building. And the other countries, for sometimes very valid reasons, are very reluctant to take a target. So we will need because we are very committed to continue with uh, 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 this kind of uh, demanding but realistic targets, we will need to know more about the big picture. I think it was the view of Japan, of, uh, of EU, New Zealand, and the Canadian uh, delegation too. It's why this idea to look at to Article 9 this year and said to wait for next year, there is no logic, another thing in Kyoto that may be improved. Why? We are looking for 3.9 first and 9 after. Sorry to come with these articles to you. Maybe you don't know what I'm speaking about, but I know now. <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, why we don't strengthen the dialogue with the country that are outside Kyoto, especially when one of them has 25% of the emissions. So um, I'm a strong believer in Kyoto, but to me it's not a Bible. It's something we need to improve, especially because climate change, climate change is a phenomenon about which we learn every year. Canada came with a, a climate change plan this year, last April. I don't think two or three years ago we'd have been able to, to uh, invent it because we were not prepared. We didn't know how to do it. So you see, I think over the years we will learn. And now we have a dialogue that will help us to free our imagination about it. And I know that in, in Japan there are a lot of ideas that are circulating for that. Est-ce que je peux vous demander de, dire, de redire ça en français Il faudrait que vous me reposiez la question. <rire> euh, la, que, la, la question, c'était à propos de... Est-ce que... Euh, que what was your question <rire> The answer was we're very good. <rire> um, ce, que, ce que je voudrais, Monsieur le ministre, c'est que vous nous disiez... Euh, vous avez parlé du plan de Montréal. Oui. Euh, et là, on parle d'une un, deuxième phase de Kyoto. Et vous dites qu'elle est essentielle parce que y, y, la tâche ben, est, et, devant ah, nous bah, est gigantesque encore. Elle est essentielle parce que si vous êtes un investisseur, c'est difficile d'investir dans un système qui risque de disparaître en 2012. Les investissements, ça, ça se passe en décennies. Euh, et là, d'investir dans un système qui risque de disparaître, c'est très inquiétant pour, pour les investisseurs et il fallait qu'on leur donne un, un message à Montréal. Et je suis très heureux qu'on leur ait envoyé le bon message. Et on a travaillé fort pour ça. Et là, il est, il est parti le message. Le, le marché du carbone est là pour rester. 
comment on va l'aménager, comment on va l'améliorer au fil des ans, ça, ça va toujours en, en, en négociation, en discussion. Mais c'est quelque chose qu'il faut faire. Il faut donner un prix au carbone si on veut utiliser plus rapidement les technologies qui nous permettront de réduire nos émissions. Et sur le fait qu'une minorité quand même de pays ont des objectifs, euh, des cibles contraignantes. Oui, eh bien, ces pays sont très déterminés à continuer à avoir des cibles contraignantes. Tout, tous les pays l'ont dit, mais en même temps, ils veulent savoir dans quel monde ils vont travailler. Parce qu'actuellement, ils représentent 35 des émissions, l'Europe, le Canada, le Japon, la Nouvelle-Zélande. Mais euh, en 2012, ça risque d'être plutôt 25 Et donc, il faut comprendre dans quel système on travaille, en espérant que d'autres se joindront à nous, dont les États-Unis. In light of the energy and success of this conference that you described, are you feeling inspired at all to uh, perhaps strengthen or improve the, uh, the Canadian Green Plan for climate change in the first phase of it? I'm never short of ideas to improve the plan. I will speak with the Minister of Finance about it. Okay. okay you, you just uh, mentioned the, the success uh, of the conference, and I think the fact that the conference has been the success is also largely due to the fact that the organization was absolutely amazing and uh, that we felt really very, very comfortable here. Um, you've just been amazing hosts. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, I'd just like to thank you for, thank you. for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.